really the house of stability. Mm -hmm. And I think the way all of this was handled by Joe and by my colleagues, I think really speaks to the credit uh, of the Senate because we have a lot of challenges this year. And uh, lead a big leadership fight probably would have been distracting. Mm -hmm. So it worked out. So we, we actually often talk about how you can have these priorities, but then the fiscal challenges, the energy crisis, yeah. all these things can get in the way. What do you see as some of the priorities and challenges as you move into the position? Well, I think the budget uh, and fixing the budget systemically mm -hmm. is really the challenge because when you look at health care, for example, um, why did health care break down this year? Many reasons, but in large part, when the legislative analyst says that the program could run a deficit, I think we'd be willing to take a risk mm -hmm. for something that big if the budget was in better shape and there was yeah. a cushion on the other side. But the fact is, unless you solve the budget and there's some confidence that we're going to have healthy reserves going forward, you can't do much else in education and health care. So it starts with budget. But I also think, you know, the governor talks about the year of education. I think every year needs to be the year of education. Again, Senator Simidian um, is one of uh, the Senate leaders uh, on the issue of public education. I look forward to working with him to bring career technical education to, to scale, to merge the green economy with education reform and create more job opportunities for young people who are otherwise falling through the cracks. Um, we need to have a positive education agenda uh, in the state Senate. I look forward to working with Joe and others to, to promote that. Yeah. Go ahead. 